the radiator came in. It's really nice. All right. Now I'm gonna show you just real quick how I had the fans set up so that they would fit really well. I got some screws from a local hardware store. No, it wasn't Ace. And I basically just took that, a nut, and then a, a thick washer. And then I left enough space for just a little bit to go in there. And then it'll fit just fine that way. So that's how I did each fan. Alright. I'm not gonna. Yeah, well, let's do this. I'm gonna do it right now. Three. We're almost at full speed. That's five. Full speed. source I got. Oh, well, my next camera has a nice shot plus on it. It really comes in handy. Yeah, it is flowing. It's at 200. I guess I gotta put some more in there. Peace. It's a bit loud at the moment. Now the door's open. back up again. From the pump, it goes out right there, leads up to that.
male female meet to the CPU, then out to the motherboard video card, then out. There's a spill area, I moved it. Another male female. Those two can be removed, I can remove the motherboard if needed, and still keep the wire in there. Moved up to the reservoir, and then as you can see on the other side, there's another reservoir. As it heads its way out to the reservoir and down back to the pump. From the pump meets CPU, CPU, video, video, spill onto the radiator and as you see the radiator back into the reservoir and back into the pump. Good one. Turn the lighting off. Alright, I'm going to do this as quickly as possible. It's kind of dark down there. Alright, so there it is. Chilling. I got the other side open. The other side's not open. This side's open because I got to use that for a little bit. And my IDE cable isn't long enough for this to actually be up here somewhere. So, I'm just using that to install a few more programs I need to install. And once I'm done with that, I'll take that out and plug the uh, other hard drive that's in there back in there. I still got all the information off the drive. Got every little bit of it off. Happy about that. Got all that old information off of there. Got my CD key and everything. So I went ahead and reinstalled 64 because, you know, it was, you know, giving me problems. So I went ahead and reinstalled it. And now I'm able to finish installing things. Underneath, I have a um, aluminum sheet. Oh, hold on, let me confirm something with you. Yes, my nose is clogged right now. Allergies suck. Anyway. <clears throat> Hold on. Alright, where was that? Oh, I had the light on. Okay, so. We got the card reader. I got all the USBs hooked up. Oops, can't see that side. There's a firewire port, which doesn't seem to work. Got the excess PC. And it's full. Looks really good at night. But it looks so much that it annoys me. I got all the LEDs hooked up. They're all blue. Which is nice because it matches the blue and the white one I have there. Well, we got the power and we got the uh, hard drive reader. Let you know that it's working. Reset. Ooh, in there. Anyway. And of course that it's got the two USBs you can see there another mic in and headphones USB and ESA anyway to the other side in the 
back it has the old school mouse keyboard hookup VGA DVI underneath there let's see if we can get it there there we go we got the HDMI right above or up below the DVI two USB ports ESAN two USB ports two USB ports Ethernet Gigabyte got a full surround sound that's 7.1 I only have 5.1 And of course, 1000 watt silverstone power supply at the bottom. Under each of the feet, I put a torn up t shirt, a piece of it, cut it up because the vibrating from the aluminum here and the case was making a very annoying noise, which I, I think I can recreate. Hold on, let's see. No, I can't. Really damping the sound. I'll probably get some more sound dampening to really help me out. But otherwise, it's really quiet, runs great, and I got my XP 64 bit. Couldn't be happier. Alright, so if I buy anything else, you'll know. And hopefully, this will be the last time I have to use this camera because DVR sucks. Alright, Javi, you're right. Be careful with the pollen and Happy computing. See you guys on the line. You may remember <laughs> I have one of these installed. This is the eSATA. It has two on the outside, two on the inside. This gave me such trouble when I installed it before reinstalling the OS. So, yeah, I know for anybody installing any PCIe things, don't install them. Until after you run the OS, get it running smooth. Sorry, I should be kidding. But yeah, I'll probably try this again later. There's a forum that said that if you do a Windows update with this installed, it will find the drivers for it. Because I really had a hard time finding drivers just for this one. So, um, just want to know which one it is. It's the SIL. S I L. That's S I L. 3132 B E R C. So I call it Silver C. Alright, other than that, check y'all later.